Macron survived this vote of no confidence, but his popularity has been going down. So was it expected that he would survive this? Yes, absolutely. And the opposition also knew that the motions had no chance of succeeding, but they wanted to show their disgruntlement. The opposition, since Macron's election last year, has actually been quite silent in, in French politics, but also in French media. And now they jumped onto this opportunity of Benalagate, the scandal that's shaking up France for the last two weeks, to show that they're still there. Um, Quite remarkably, the left and the right, they joined forces. They actually filed two motions. The right did not vote for the left, but the left did vote for the right. So it's an interesting um, combination, actually, a sort of coalition um, of circumstances. But nevertheless, they knew that they were going to lose. But of course, uh, it was a very important sign to uh, President Emmanuel Macron that they're very, very angry what, with what happened the last couple of weeks. All right. Well, uh, two things. Did they? What, what has this achieved? And, and has Macron, in fact, reacted to what, what you say they, they were trying to do? Well, one thing that they achieved, but they're probably not going to like it, is that within Macron's party, La République en Marche, which has a, which has a huge majority in the Assembly, um, they, they are very united around Emmanuel Macron. So uh, they basically succeeded in strengthening Macron's party. But nevertheless, uh, Macron, who was elected to renew French politics, he now is ironically saved by, by the same old-fashioned uh, French institutions that give the French president so much power. Um, and although Macron knows that he, he has defeated the two motions, um, he hopes, of course, that everybody will have forgotten Benalagay before the end of the summer. Um, but he also knows that the events of the last two weeks um, have a lasting, will have a lasting impact on his presidency. Well, yes, Stefan, he can hope, but is Benalagate in fact over and can, can he move on from this? Well, it's, it's not quite over. Of course, the judges are still investigating. Uh, five people have been indicted. And although the parliament will go on holiday next week, uh, Benalagate is still going on because uh, every day, or at least uh, every couple of days, there are new facts being disclosed about Alexandre Benalla, uh, the guy we're seeing here in this video, um, the bodyguard, the former bodyguard of Emmanuel Macron. Um, and without a doubt, the investigation of the police and the judges will show that there are more dysfunctional, um, that, that there is a dysfunctional system at the Elysee, so the presidential palace. So it will continue. But Macron seems very, um, well, almost lucid about it. He, he says, well, the French are not interested in this. They're just interested in, in um, having their holidays on the beaches. Um, but I think this will have a lasting impact on his, uh, well, the, the, the remaining four years of his presidency.